this winter the snow was keeping me from riding uh, as far as I wanted to out in the woods on my e-bike. So I added studded tires a few rides before this, and here I've added uh, some bicycle chains held on with some wire and spaced out by some plastic hose to give me more traction. I have three different battery packs on the bike. There's one pack on in each fork bag, and then there's another pack, a triangle pack, triangle battery pack, on the down tube. This is a motorcycle trail. The trucks come down this far, but some places in between are just for dirt bikes, or electric bicycles, or bicycles. And climbing, traction, it's working. You can see the, uh, that must be where the one, two, three, four chains are hooking up. I have lots and lots of traction. Uh, but then when this came up, I saw it full throttle, just went into it and didn't quite bust through that. Yeah, and I hit it and just kind of stuck in there. So I think, you know, I decided I'd give it a second chance and I'd try it again. And this time go right through the slot and maybe I could make it and run uh, uh, one or two gears faster and hit it at full throttle from the beginning and then give it a try. But this is very steep. You can hear it right when it hits the dirt. It gets some more traction and takes on. Sometimes I would have to spin the tire a little bit through the snow to get to the traction below the snow. Watch it go through the gears and watch this tire absorb the bumps. very slushy this day so but the metal and the chains hooking into the dirt made a big difference over just having studded tires <laughs> This was not that hard to ride in. The front wheel kind of is acting like a rudder. You can see it steering, but with this power of the, of the motor and the speed, I'm able to ride in some incredibly deep snow and still keep going. Um, if I were on a regular bike, I'd be walking all of that. <laughs> 